Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm gonna discuss the differences between the third dimension, the fourth dimension, and the fifth dimension. Okay, because a lot of people have been questioning this type of um, theory. So this is this is my theory on this. Okay, what a lot of other theories too, but mine. Okay, um, our spirit. So third dimension is the dimension we live in. It's it's our world, okay? We call it the 3D. It's all about material possessions, um, money, clothing, cars, that type of stuff. Um, this is where we live off of ego because there's no self-love. It, it, we vibe at a very egotistic vibe because there's no no self-love okay um we're we're blind to a lot of things we come in program blind to this stuff we we accept things we suppress things we cannot access our talents and our gifts in, in this type of dimension um the third d is is meant to keep you in light and darkness <laughs> You know, that's where, you know, light, darkness, saint, demon, love, fear. It, it's it's what gives us these negative thoughts. Um, if you choose fear, basically, in the 3D, you're going to keep repeating and keep repeating and keep repeating. If you choose love in an enlightenment process, you can move on to the 4D, okay? This is where the ego is transformed into love. Um Usually only spiritual teachers, guides, um, they can do this. This is why I'm always saying the the more the merrier, okay? Because it's it's people that live on the 3D that can bring people into the light. A lot of people think like when you cross over, pass away, die, however you want to say it, you go into the light. But you can go into the light without dying, okay? So... The only time the ego doesn't exist in the 3D is during an orgasm between a masculine and a feminine. That's where, that's kind of where they, they find balance, okay? Um, that's the only type of balance you can find in the 3D. And again, it's only during orgasm, okay? So now we go into the fourth dimension. It's like the astral plane. It's it's where darkness and light, it connects, okay? This is where there's no human laws. This is where a lot of spiritual people tend to hang out the most because you're stuck between the fourth and the fifth. Um, and just because you watch Tarot does, does not make you spiritual, okay? So I, I need to call that out there too because a lot, a lot of people think that. you got There's a process. Um... Here's the thing, too, about the fourth dimension. This is where people feel alone. This is where you're accessing higher frequencies, so there's confusion. You're questioning everything. Majority of people are already born in this vibration. Um, this is why I'm not making excuses, but this is why a lot of people turn to drugs, alcohol, that type of stuff, because they can't explain what's happening to them, so... They, they turn to certain things because um, they don't feel like they fit in, all right? Um, the nice thing about the 4D, too, this is where you don't get nightmares. Um, you can have panic attacks, but this is also where we go into dream state energy. Um, dream state energy is usually within the 5D when you're in the 4th D. Okay, um, and and that's why you're not getting nightmares. So this is also the fourth dimension is important because this is where an awakening occurs. Okay, and if you go through an awakening in the fourth D, which my theory, you can kind of only go through an awakening in the fourth D, and usually cleanse the the third D energy really quick okay this is kind of where that um how do you say it clear 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 consciousness 
um, claris, clarikinesis, I believe that's what it is. This is that inner knowing and you can't even explain why you feel it, okay? This is also where people use those spiritual drugs um, because it can take you beyond the fourth dimension, but it won't ever take you beyond the fifth, okay? Um, this is also where people find dark magic because you can connect to darkness. All right. Um, let's go to the fifth dimension. Um, this is where people refer to heaven on earth energy because the fifth dimension is pure. It's light. It's unconditional love. It's, it's timeless. Once you're transformed, and it, it takes a little while to be transformed into fourth and fifth, okay? There's, there's no fear. Um, there's abundance. Things manifest into the physical world like you wouldn't believe. It's, it's your higher self. So when you access your higher self, you can still be in the fourth dimension. But if you're still carrying fear, you're not fully in the fifth. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but once you're fully in the fifth, okay, this is where you're connecting to your mental, emotional, and physical capabilities. It's all completed. It's You're now trusting the journey. Okay. And a lot of people will say, Oh, I, I trust my journey. Not if you're still holding on to fear. There, there's no fear in this one. This is every action you take in life is based on love and no negativity. Okay. This is where manifestation comes in, in easy, but you're not even trying. <clears throat> you're not even trying because you're just happy. You just know that you don't even really need protection. It's like freedom. There's no anger. There's no aging. There's no limits. This is where they say you can live to be as long as you want to be and, and you choose when to leave the body. And when you do, there is no, there is no pain. Okay. Um, I will say this is where you can either have sex with someone or, or with yourself and it, it's just as as beautiful you don't you don't need it you don't want it it's it's just you come together you just mesh okay um you can access spirits easier you can access extraterrestrial you can you can access dna um this is where star seeds come in this is where you live in the universal law not not man-made law Okay, there's, there's no competition. This is where you actually hit the Holy Trinity. This is the divine energy. Um, it's, it's the most powerful energy you can have. Okay, so it, it does take some time to get there. Um, but, you know, you can do it. Okay, it's... It's just pure light and unconditional love when you get to the fifth dimension. And and there's really no going back. I mean, you can go back to the 3D consciously if you choose to, but not so many people really do. You know, so that's just a quick example for, for you guys, okay, to kind of know where you're at. If you're spiritual, chances are you're, in the, you're definitely in the 4D, and, and people stay in the 4D for quite some time in, until they release a lot of things and, and then once in the fifth dimension you know then then you can explore other stuff but it, it you can't really explore that higher consciousness and, and feel all that and unless you complete the 5d okay so there's my explanation hope it helped you I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. I shall see you soon. Oh, look at this. I just got clicked out on my own computer. I just got locked out on my own computer. Love you guys. Bye.